What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. They just dropped a Blade trailer and not the Blade movie. I know we're all waiting for that, but they've dropped a Blade video game at the Game Awards. I didn't even realize, I thought I was a true believer in the gaming realm. I didn't even realize they were dropping a Blade trailer, but I love Marvel video games. I love the Spider-Man games. I'm really excited for the Wolverine game. And Blade coming out eventually is going to be super cool. But we're going to go right into this trailer. We're going to break it down while we watch it. There's going to be a lot of pausing, so don't worry. But it's not going to be too long. It's only The trailer is very short. It's like a minute and 23 seconds. We're not going to sit here for 20 minutes. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it. All right, so it's going to be rated M, which is great. It's going to be a great thing. Rated M, I think, for Blade, rated R. Bethesda. Bethesda is making this game, and, all right, I paused a little too soon, and Arcane Lion, Dishon if Dishonored fans, if this is anything like Dishonored, I think it would be a very great game. I, I personally liked Dishonored from when I was growing up, back in, like, high school and earlier than that. It was a great game. I, I didn't, like, grind it out to, like, 100% completion. I couldn't tell you exactly what happened, but I did remember playing it. My older brother did buy that game. But I am very excited for this. Bethesda is a great studio. I know they don't make, they make some iffy games here or there, like Fallout 76 and things like that. But their other studios do make really good games as well, like Arcane. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to go into the Christianity realm. I actually was um, kind of worried that they weren't going to do that because a lot of times they will try to change or mix it up. And Blade's entire story is that they're vampires and christianity god that kind of stuff does exist in this realm as you can see above the building here it looks it could potentially be an older language maybe even uh like hebrew it could be arabic so after doing some research on the uh, the words above this building it says say i seek refuge of the lord of the creation which refer is a reference to chapter 113 of al falak i know i kind of butchered that or the dawn the original text of this says say i seek refuge in the lord of the dawn from the evil that which he was created and from the evil of intense darkness when it comes and from the evil of those who cast evil suggest infirm resolution and from the evil of the envier when he envies so i think this is probably just saying it's probably telling whoever's coming that this is a sacred place, as you can see the the cross there. I don't know why. I don't know how why they would reference an Arabic um, Muslim quote when you're using crosses in Christianity. But it is trying to maybe they're in an Arabic area. It doesn't really. T I can't really tell that it is. It looks. It doesn't look like an Arabic place. But they are. They are trying to tell the potential vampires in this show. We haven't really confirmed that they are vampires just yet. But that they're trying to say that there is this is a safe place. All right, let's keep going. It sounds kind of it sounds it sounds French, maybe maybe French. Looks like they're in a barber shop. You see the spinning dial. This is a barber shop, as you can see. If you look around, there's tons of crosses and tons of symbolism for, and then the. And the if you look over here, if you, the mouse is there. This is like it looks like one of those uh, scents in the Catholic religion. They have a little sense. Dreamcatcher over here. Um, this looks like the Star of David right here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're in Paris. Oh, it's kind of loud. Bumping. I think that's Blade. Oop! He cut his finger. Yeah. So if you see here, you got more crosses. There is another uh, another star, maybe another dream catcher over here, but yeah, he's wearing his cross. He's think he knows what's going on. It looks like it looks like post vampire knowledge. So like everyone knows that vampires exist at this point because generally in the Blade series or like comics or even like the old Blade movie, vampires were a mystery. They lurked in the dark. It looks like they're gonna go more post apocalyptic where um, the vampires are known. They're trying to take over the world. And Blade's here to kill him. And it looks like they're gonna they're going with sundown where they're that timer where they're like, sun's going down, vampires coming out, make sure you get somewhere safe. And it looks like that's why there's so many crosses in this barbershop. Oh, 
Relax, man. I don't bite. I don't know who the, who the voice actor is for that, but it did sound and does sound very blade like. It sounds very intimidating, and he's just gonna get a quick lineup on his beard right there. <laughs> Immediately, as you see, the room has gotten significantly darker. He's got the red light on. There's already a siren going on. There's already gunshots. It seems like there is a post-apocalyptic world where Blade is going to have to like kill all these vampires or try to kill the leader to bring society back to norm. That's just my prediction. I don't really know. I haven't really done a lot of research on it. Lock up tight now. And as you, if you look, if you look back at that, let's just rewind here. You see his fangs right here. He is, for those who don't know, Blade is a vampire. He is, he is a hybrid of, of a vampire. He's not full vampire. So there's a technical name in the comic books. I would have to look it up. But the vampire, he's a vampire who can walk in the daytime. So he's like this weird hybrid. They are in the, they are handing the euros out, so they are they are in uh, France. Nice, just getting started. Ooh, ooh, let's go back. Hold on, let's just let's just analyze this real fast. Uh, right here, looks like he's got his uh, this classic revolver that he likes. He's got the uh, probably the silver grenades. Um, I think this is another knife, some more silver bullets, and he got his iconic sword. I am hoping, maybe 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 this is a, a reach, maybe. The movie takes an inspiration from this video game and will try to like replicate some of the action, or maybe this video game could be canon in the Marvel universe. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But yeah, it is post apocalyptic, so it probably is not. It probably won't be canon because just because like where the Avengers, you know, that kind of stuff. But and I hope they keep the Avengers out of this, like all these other other Marvel side characters, just because it would it would definitely like ruin the narrative for Blade in itself. Maybe. Maybe in future sequels or another type of game where they include him within the overall Marvel universe, like in the so the Spider Verse within PlayStation. But yeah, nice. Just getting started. I think this is gonna be a very exciting game. I'm really excited to see the gameplay. I was reading a little bit online. It did say that it's potentially going to be a third-person video game, which is going to be super cool because third-person is always an exciting trip. And right now, there's been a lot of first-person action going on. But uh, Blade, Marvel, Bethesda, Arcane Studios, we're excited. We're all excited. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.